Welcome to Stone Upon Stone, Episode 10. Last time I talked about how we tell ourselves lies that keep us from enjoying peace. One of the hardest parts of life is taking responsibility for things. And many people gain power through making excuses, either for themselves or for others. How can you make ex how can you gain power by making excuses for others? Well, if you can get others to not take responsibility by well, if you can offer people the opportunity to avoid taking responsibility for themselves, then you may be able to get them to give you money or power. It's worked quite effectively for some political parties. When I started making these this video series, I talked about how anger holds up a mirror that shows you other people's faults and not your own. We can find peace by admitting wrongs that we've done, by recognizing that other people are also doing their best. Much of the time. Much of the time, other people are doing the best they can, the same as we are. And we can look for ways to accept their failures and disappointments as part of the human condition without excusing the willful disregard for the consequences that they have created and by doing the same for yourself. Start by giving yourself permission to move forward. Make amends where it's possible.
and to do better in the future. That'll be the same thing that other people want as well. If you don't do better, there's no point in putting the past behind you. You might as well live in the past if you're not going to change. So look at your choices and see where you have opportunity to change. But also look at your choices and think about a few things that might be mitigating factors. And then try to look for the same things in the choices of others. so that you can fairly judge what they've done. Look at your choices. Did you have the correct information to make the right choice? If you did, commit to making a better one next time. If you didn't, commit to seek that information before you make a choice, before you decide. <clears throat> Did you have the best intentions at heart? And would a different choice have prevented harm? Yes? Commit to make a more thorough assessment next time before acting. No, you didn't have the right, the best intentions at heart. Commit to examine your motives and be less selfish next time. Did you have the right goal in mind? If not, commit to seeking better goals. If you did, commit to seeking less disruptive methods next time.
Did you consider the impact and ramifications of your plan before you made your choice? If not, commit to thinking about the effects before enacting a plan next time. If you did, try to find out why you didn't see the harm that came from your choices and your plan, and think more thoroughly so that you can prevent If you didn't consider the ram impact and ramifications of your plan, you need to commit to think about the effects before enacting it next time. And if you did, then you need to think, you need to find out why you didn't, you need to find out why you didn't see the harm that came before it happened. And commit to think more thoroughly next time. so that you can foresee the danger and consider other plans. There's always a next time, except where there isn't. If someone has died, you can't make things right for them. But you can take responsibility, accept discipline and the need for recommends to others who are affected and someone else is always affected when someone dies. Someone knew them, someone cared about them, someone loved them. Accept discipline and the need for recompense to others affected and work to repair the world for others who are in a similar situation. One other thing that you must do, you must face the fact that you can never make it right enough to shrug off the choices that you made. But that is not all that common. The vast majority of the harmful decisions that you make will leave an opportunity for a next time. So do better, but don't expect others to cheer your change right away. You hurt them. It will take time for them to heal from the hurt that you did. <clears throat> so give them that time and keep doing what's right. Keep doing better. You have to keep moving forward. And don't make excuses for the past. Say, I was wrong. Say, you're right to be angry. And maybe add, I'm trying to avoid doing things like that now.
But don't try to explain why you did it. Most people don't care why you hurt them. Making excuses is tempting, but don't do that either. And don't support people who advocate making excuses, especially politicians. They're making excuses for your situation so that they can pitch you against other people who never hurt you. on a carousel of conflict, like I mentioned before. It's not because they care about you and your issues. It's not that they care about what hurt has been done to you. because they want to keep you angry so that you'll be easier to control. Don't let them control you by making you continue to be angry. Take responsibility for your actions. It can be hard, but it's the only path to peace. Take responsibility, learn from your mistakes, live better by making better choices. Look for ways to coexist with other people. This includes considering the impact of your choices. So that, or the, tr or your, this includes considering the impact of your choices on those who don't resemble you or those you don't like. Seek to hear the opinions of others. especially the opinions of those who contradict our plan.
We should seek these opinions. before making a major decision. Don't let seeking these opinions paralyze you, but at least hear the arguments against an action before committing to it. Opposition advocacy is a great way to avoid the pitfalls of not considering the ramifications of your actions. Don't tell yourself lies. Be honest about what you want, about how you plan to get it. And about how those plans will likely affect others. You don't always have to avoid harm. Rather, you don't have to always avoid all harm. but you should know what the likely outcomes are before you decide whether your goal, what your goal is worth. The end does not justify the means. means determines the quality of the end. But sometimes people need to be made uncomfortable. And sometimes empires need to fall. Just make sure that both the means and the ends are right before setting out to enact a plan. Join me next time when I'll talk about what makes a good choice. <laughs>